G'day fellas, welcome to another video that's part of the improvement checklist. About a week ago I asked on the Aussie Drongo community channel what you guys wanted to see added to the improvement checklist and overwhelmingly you said that you wanted to see videos focused on every sieve and their standard land and water opening. Today that's what we're going to be looking at and we're going to be looking at the French. This is a build order that you can do or an opening that you can do on both land and water maps depending on the civilization that you're playing against. It's going to be a basic opening and we're going to talk about exactly what you need to do uh, to hit your age ups. So let's get into it. We're going to start off by moving all of our villagers onto our food crates. We're going to send out our explorer in one direction, our scout very, very close to him. Get that villager in the queue. Begin sending in our bison ever so slightly. And we're going to begin chopping wood. Our explorer is going to be taking a trading post. So we're going to be making sure that our explorer is heading down towards that neutral trading post. Uh, when it comes to the trading post, there's a couple of different options that you can go about, whether you take the safer option that's in your base or whether you go for a more neutral trading post um, that, that's towards the middle of the map. But typically as France, you're going to be wanting to take a, a trading post relatively early. Uh, with the French, you're also going to be needing to drop a house. So we're chopping wood in the early game for our house as well. Uh, so we're now getting that villager in queue. So we're up to eight at the moment. The deck that we're playing with is just a very standard uh, French deck, so taking this trading post down here towards the middle. On the previous Great Plains, you used to rush for this trading post, but uh, it's, it's not required anymore. So overchopping a little bit just there, uh, not a big deal. Just, oh my god, Explorer, I just saw what you were doing. You are so naughty. Did you guys see that? Explorer came down, he walked around the trading post socket. Just to just to hit it from this corner, he likes to be right next to the trees, and that's okay. All right, scout doing his scout things. And so continuing right now just to make villages from the home city or from the, the town center. We're going to get our three villager shipment in. Uh, for a TB start, this is a relatively slow start. It's important that you keep that in mind. So we could be going for a 14 villager age up. Could potentially... Oh, he's going to take my, my coin treasure. That's all right. We'll let him. We're not going to actually take our coin treasures or any of our treasures because we're just going to demonstrate how this build order is done. Get our villagers out over and across onto the next bison. Might even shoot this one dead, just get them out there. He's got two cows! Where did he get his cows from? I'm not sure where he got those cows from. He must have got a treasure or something like that. I like that the AI knows what he's doing though. Look at him taking my treasures as well. That's alright. So, normally as the French you'd like to do a 13 villager age up, but that's not always going to be possible. Uh, so you might have to do a 14 villager age up. If you find a decent food treasure, so if we look around here, uh, so that's a 50 wood treasure, three stray sheep, uh, just more tr uh, food treasure. So nothing nothing really foody, nothing nothing too, uh, you know, hungersome on the map. So it means that we're going to have to do a 14 villager age up here. As I said, a 13 villager age up would be possible if you got like a, a 90 food treasure and maybe like an, an 80 food treasure, something like that, like some decent food treasures. But other than that, it's uh, it's best that you just go for a 14 villager age up. You can see even here at the moment we're, uh, we're going to have a little bit of issues uh, just with avoiding going idle. I think we might idle here for about 50 food. So about 40 food is what we idled for. So going to go up with the quartermaster here. Now during the transition, we're moving everybody over onto wood. Uh, we're going to begin herding as well. So we're going to send out a villager down this way. Uh, or that villager is stuck. The villager that we tried to send out and herd is a villager that got stuck. And we're going to go herd with this villager as well. And so we're going to be dropping down our market. There's a couple of different things that we want to be getting with our market. Uh, most importantly, the, the very first thing that we're going to be aiming to get is our hunting dogs upgrade, as well as our, our upgrade for um, our placer mines. So we'll make sure that we get those in ASAP. Nice big hunt out here. So we're also going to be making sure that we get enough resources uh, to be getting in uh, our steel traps as well. Now when we go for steel traps, it's not necessary for us to... Uh, let me just... I, okay, so I need to get to 200 wood right here. So when we go for steel traps, we're not going to be gathering up the coin for it. We're only going to be gathering up the wood for it. Uh, so I'm slowly going to be taking villagers off wood. Once we get to that 200, there we go. We're at the 200 now. Take that one out. There we go. All right, so we're getting placer mines, and then we're going to be getting steel traps as well. 
So the very first thing that we're going to be sending in from the home city is going to be those four coureurs de bois. So in they come right now. Explorer just down here doing explorer things. Uh, and we'll get steel traps as the next upgrade. We're also going to be dropping down a stable. So we're going to be dropping down the stable in the back of the base. And now we can research steel traps as well. Really important upgrade for the French. We're also going to be dropping down a house. We'll be getting a second house as well. So there's that second house now. You can see that our macro is not too bad. We've, we've gathered two more wood than what we probably should have, but that's okay. Two wood is not too bad. Well, after this, we're then going to go 700 wood. We're going to begin training a hussar from the stable. Four villagers about to come in right now. There they are. Aren't they amazing? Beginning to uh, just be very careful with our macro here. Uh, I don't have a real specific guideline when it comes to how many vills you should have on, on which resource, but uh, you, you can balance it out yourself. You can see that we're, we're doing our best here just to, to balance it out. Ideally, you want to try and get those five hussars out, but it's not always possible to do it, so sometimes it can mean delaying your hussars. Uh, so we're, we're doing our best here. We might get this batch out. It's going to be pretty close, I would say. Uh, it looks like we're going to fall short by, yeah, about 15 food and about five coins. So not finishing that batch, but we're going to continue training Asars out. So uh, if, if we'd picked up any kind of treasures, we would have been absolutely fine there. And so now with our Explorer, we're going to begin taking our next trading post. Uh, so our, our little dude's doing some, some hunting down to the south. So we're taking our next trading post. And with this, we can choose to drop down another house. We can also drop down a barracks as well. I see you guys. Don't think I don't see you guys. So we're going to drop down a barracks as well. So now we've got eight hussars out. And now from here, we're going to go 700 coin. And we're just going to leave. We're not going to train any more hussars at this point. So with these hussars, we would be down here killing our opponent's base. And what we're doing now is we're macroing towards that all-important age up. That's the most important thing. We want to be making sure that we're getting ready to age up. We'll send a villager out to, to herd these hunts in. We're going towards that, that goal of collecting 300 coin and then from there using that, that extra coin to, to go up to the... Uh, the third age so doing a little bit of raiding right now i'm just gonna attack the village i'm not gonna kill it i don't want to get that free xp and now we're gonna tr begin transitioning villages over i don't know exactly what's happening with this hunt this hunt just seems almost impossible to get in and making sure that we don't gather any more than than what we need and as you can see our macro is beginning to hit a peak we're going to be going up to the fortress age here uh so we're going to leave this uh as a uh, we're going to go idle just ever so slightly here and you can see we'll pause it right when we hit the top there you go so very nice macro on the point so from here we'll be going up with the exiled prince and then training skirmishers and dragoons in the third age making sure that we send unit shipments once we reach the third age as, as well as a thousand wood so keep in mind you can use this build order on land maps and water maps if you're playing against an opponent who's going to be doing a very water heavy build then you're going to be playing it slightly differently but nonetheless this build order is able to adapt to both land and water very very easily if you've enjoyed this video i encourage you to leave a like if you think that i've missed something i encourage you to leave a comment other than that thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one